Hi, I'm back with another video, and I made like three videos. So this is like my third video that um I made today, and I got like some lasagna, and I got like some uh, salad with lettuce and cheese. And I got a lot of ranch because I love ranch, and I got um garlic bread, as you guys can see. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like, and it's a lot of ranch because I love ranch. I'm gonna mix it up. And what you hear in the background, that's a TV. So I'm about to turn it down. After I stir up my um, salad and my um, ranch, so. So I'll be right back, cause I don't want the TV on while I'm, um, so sorry about that the tv was up loud i forgot to turn it down before i got started but anyway how are you guys day going i'm about to um dive in and try the delicious salad next time i'm gonna show you guys how i really get down with my salad because i like um apples i like uh peaches i like the little sunflower season mine i like the shredded cheese i like the croissant bread i like i like kind of like a fruit salad but not really but it's like really healthy so i like all that in mind so next time i'm gonna show you guys and plus i put a little bit a lot of ranch because i don't want to like go back for more ranch so yeah And salad goes good with um, lasagna. Just like when you're making spaghetti. Salad goes really good with that. And I love the, um, see that little bread, the croissant? The one that looks like this. I love those. I always buy these when I go to the store. I'll just eat them like right out the package. A lot of people told me they taste gross, but. Was, oh yeah, then I forgot. I got some water. Just to let you know. Can't forget about the water. I shared it with my son. I poured it like in his um, cup. So then I just figure I'll just have the rest. And later on, I'm going to have um, my um, tea. So I'm going to put this one back in the fridge because I forgot all about this. Because I wanted to save it for dinner. And I have a cold one there. So I'm going to just put that back and get the cold one. Let me know what's your favorite tea. I tried green tea for the first time. And it was really good though. My son liked it too. So that's why I got it too, because I wanted him to try it too. So he liked it, and I liked it too. But I think it probably tasted better on a hot day. But it was kind of warm that day when we went, uh, when I went to Safeway a couple days ago. But it was really good though. It was from Starbucks. My first time trying it, everybody's like, green tea's good, green tea's good. And I'm like, am I getting the right one or the wrong one? But it actually tastes pretty good. I love tea. Regardless, <laughs> I love tea. And um, hopefully I'll be able to go to McDonald's pretty soon because I have some gift cards that the church people gave me. I'm thankful for the church people for looking out for me. So every time when it's your birthday, they give you like Starbucks and they give you like um, a McDonald's card. But sometimes you'd be, you, you'd be amazed what you have on there. One time I was having my son and um, I looked on my Starbucks card. I thought I had like 5 or $10. But I found out I had 20 I was like, oh man, I got 20 So I shared it with this young lady. So she's around the same age as me. We go to the same church, so I shared it with her because she went to go visit my son. And that was really nice. Yeah, it was twenty dollar. What do you guys get? I asked you in the uh, last video. I think it was yesterday. What do you guys get when you guys go to Starbucks? Let me know. So I don't really be knowing what to get. So I've been looking like on YouTube. Everybody get like um the frappuccinos and caramel frappuccinos all that stuff and the dragon this and all that. i want to try different stuff but i don't know what to get but the one where i go is like in safeway starbucks they didn't have a lot of stuff because it's i guess because it's close by so everybody go in there and get all the drinks but that's like the favorite like drink shop i guess i don't know Yeah, back to what I was saying was about that McDonald's gift card. 
So tomorrow I'm going to call early in the morning and see if I can make an appointment for my dog for Friday. For tomorrow, Thursday. I forgot to do it today because I was getting stuff out the way from the doctor was calling um, for uh, my oldest son when he wasn't feeling good. So I'll try to get that out the way today and trying to call the numbers. And then when I did all that and then I put the food on, time went by fast. And then I laid my youngest son, three-year-old, to take a little nap. I'm looking like, dang, time went by fast. It's almost like eight o'clock. I'm like, God dang, it seems like I just woke up. But I guess that's the, um, the story as being a parent, being a mother. You go through a lot when you're a single parent and doing everything on your own. It's not so easy, you know. But I'm going to get to that in, I don't know when, but later down in the video. When you guys start um, asking me questions, I can explain to you guys about stuff like that. But uh, anyway, back to what I was saying about the McDonald's gift card. Um, If I get to see my dad, I'm going to have him like maybe doing, maybe like around lunchtime. I'm going to uh, make a video of what I get. When I go to McDonald's, I'm really not a McDonald's fan, but since I got the gift card, I might want to use it. So I'm going to get something, but I'm not going to tell you guys what I get. I'm just get something and make a video of it and stuff like that. And I'm going to show you again what the design you look like. It looks like that. And then there's some garlic bread. I never tried these kind of garlic bread before. I always tried the one that looked like a little square. And then my son picked it out when I went to Safeway it because it's all they had. And we went to the store for one period of time because we got more stuff than what we supposed to um, get. But we were going to call a lift because we don't I have a car. And, but we made it because we don't live too far from the house. So, you know, we do everything on the bus anyway. So, I'm like, oh, well, what the heck. If I would have called the lift, I would have got like a little more things of food, like more juice or water or something like that. But I just said, man, I, we can make it. We got it. It was hot that day. But I'm like, oh, well, what the heck? You know, the Lord just pushed us and we made it home safe. So that's all that matters. So I wasn't tripping. I still have my money if I would have called the lift. Because the lift is always like you can't use cash. You got to use it like your card. But if you ride the cab, you can, you know, pay with um, cash. Let me know, have you guys ever rode a um, bicycle or a scooter, like when you go into a drive through and try to get some food? Let me know. I'm just curious about that. I'm just really, like, really, really curious about that, because if you don't have a car, how are you supposed to go? If they can't, if you're not open, how are you supposed to go? I'm just, I'm just curious. Oh, my son over there, he just cracking up laughing, eating his food, the same thing I have, drinking a little bit of tea with water mixed together, and he's um, watching um, Dennis and Minutes, so we're watching like Dennis and Minutes. We was looking at um, YouTube, but I guess we watch it so much, so now it's like playing out a little bit, but it's still going to get back together, though. I ain't tripping. The internet's slow, but it's all good. Because pretty soon I'm going to get Netflix. It's all good, because I heard Netflix got more good stuff. I really do like Netflix. I tried it out once before, and it's really good. I miss a lot of stuff, um, shows on there I got to catch up. Mmm. The garlic bread pretty good. Ooh, nobody told me I had ranch on my lips. Dang. I told you guys I'll be back with another video. I'm trying to make at least three videos a day, if I can. I was going to do 20 videos a day, but that will drain my body out because I got to get some rest. <laughs> you know how that is when you're being a parent. And then you got your two dogs at the same time, too. So... Yeah, check out my videos on TikTok. I made some videos on TikTok. Uh, um, yeah, just check them out. They're very interesting. And if you guys want to see my dog, I made a video of my dog on TikTok. One of them. Not the other one. Just one of them. So, yeah, hopefully my dad will come over here um, this weekend. I'm not sure. Like I was saying was, I was still surprised that Memorial Day is on the 31st. Hmm, that tells me something. But, man, things are just going by so fast. That's why I said to everybody, you gotta enjoy life while you're still here. Because you don't know what tomorrow might bring. And I'm trying to um, enjoy life every moment of it. Even if I do the same thing, I still try to enjoy life. 
you know, thanking God that I wake up in the morning, even though sometimes, you know, I have back, uh, my back be hurting because when I have my child, you know, and things like that, sometimes my leg might be hurting, but I'm still making it, you know, thank you God that I'm still here every day. I'm like, you know, you got to thank God that you're here because you can be gone tomorrow. You can be gone tonight. Who knows, you know, when is your last um, breath? That's what I tell everybody, but. People need to start putting their head together and start taking it serious. Like if you have family, if you have a mom, if you have a dad, call them, see how they're doing. Even if you don't, go see them. You can look them up on Zoom or, you know, just that little call can make a person day happy. Like, oh man, I heard from Princess and I know she's still breathing or I heard from so-and-so, you know, people take it as a joke because I don't have my mom and it still hurts me. My mom passed away in 2008, and, it, you know, I still go through a lot, you know, I'm like, man, I don't have that woman figure, you know, I just have my dad, but I can't go to him, like, if I have a problem, like a woman problem, like, who am I going to go to, you know what I mean, so, like I always say, you know, enjoy your parents while you're still here, if you got both of your parents, your biological parents, I'm talking about step this, step that, step, you know, your biological parents, that person in the world, you still got your parents, you better hug them, love them, tell them you love them, you know, start doing things with them, and, you know, because life is too short. All this stuff going around, you know, is a wake-up call. Which coronavirus, like I said, is a wake-up call, but this stuff is real. You know, people are dying, people are passing away, people are getting sick, even little babies are getting shot every day. You know, it's crazy. You know, you got every time you go somewhere, you got to watch your back. You know, it's, you shouldn't have to be feeling in fear. You know, every time I turn on the news, it's never nothing good. I mean, I watch my news, but I need to watch it more often like I should. But it just, I don't know, it just ain't nothing really good. My dad watches news a lot. And then he'll tell me about something if I miss something. Like, daughter, did you watch this? You know, did you hear about this shooting? I'm like, oh, damn, another shooting again. Oh, man, come on now. You know, so you just got to enjoy life while you can. And be blessed that you're still here, you know. Take everything, you know seriously don't just take everything as a joke because you know everything is not a joke so yeah so let me know what you guys are gonna do for memorial day and um father day is coming out what y'all gonna do for father day i'm still trying to think what should i get my dad because he pretty much got a lot of stuff you know so i'm trying to figure out like what is he low of that i can get him but i'm not sure So, I don't know. I'm not really sure what should I get up. So, for the rest of the day, it's like going on, um, I don't know what time it is in you guys' area. It might be two hours different. It might be an hour different. It might be three hours different. It might be four hours different. I don't know. But I know it's going on 8 o'clock over here. I know we don't eat dinner around 8, but my youngest son was still kind of asleep. So, because he, um, took a nap at the wrong period of time. He pulled up to take a nap, like, around... I try to have him take a nap no later than let him get up in the morning, he eat his breakfast, then he might have like little snacks or whatever, have a little lunch, then he play, whatever. So probably like about two or three, he take a little nap and get back up. But this time I think he took a nap around three or four, you know, so he just not too long ago got up. So, you know, I normally don't eat dinner around eight. I try to eat my dinner like no later than six or seven o'clock and that's it because if you eat dinner around eight, that should be like... Maybe a little snack or something. And this lasagna is pretty good though. And not like too cheesy, you know, it's just right. I like it. And plus I put the lasagna in a little bit late. I put it in like around five. I should have put it in like early, like maybe around um, three-ish. But it's all good though. I ain't tripping. I ain't like I'm gonna go to sleep right away. I'm gonna be up for a minute. Cause I'm not gonna go to sleep when I just ate. That's not good. Comment down below what you got a favorite restaurant. I don't really have a favorite restaurant. I do wanna try like um Wingstop and Buffalo Wild Wing. I wanna try the corn. I was watching this YouTuber. And they um they have like wing stop buffalo wing and then they be having like uh what do you call fried pickles. I never tried fried pickles. Somebody told me that fried pickles are really good, but I never tried them. 
but I might give it a try next month. I'm not sure because you have to like order them online from like the DoorDash and stuff like that. Because the fact is, um, I don't think they're open, so you might have to order online. Especially when I don't have a car and you can't just drive a um, scooter mm -hmm. like a hoverboard up there. It would look kind of dumb cruising up there with a hoverboard. They might they might say something about that. They might get the manager on me. I don't even know how to ride a hoverboard. How many people know how to ride a hoverboard? I bought one for my um, son. He's 17. Uh, for when Christmas was around. So let me know how many people um, like hoverboard. And somebody stole my bike. I don't know. <laughs> it was on my cord. I wake up and look down. It was gone. Nah, so, nah, boo -boo. I don't know. Who stole my bike? Whoever stole my bike, make sure you give it back. Well, I don't want it back. I wish you good luck. You can have it. Maybe you might need it more than I do. You, all you have to do is come and ask me, and I would have gave it to you. You don't got to steal it from me. I'm the nicest person you can ever um, get to know of. But anyway, somebody did stole my bike. And I bought it at Target. So... Yeah, lay down line. I am gonna give me another bike because I like riding bike because it exercise and it helps out with your legs and things like that. But yeah, my bike was stolen. I ain't gonna lie about that. I was messed up. So whoever you are, comment down below. You can have it. I wish you good luck. <coughs> Black power. But anyway, more to that story. Anyway, so. Are you guys excited about the new Nintendo Switch? It's coming out, I think, on the 21st. Oh, 19. I gotta look up online. Wow, two more days? I don't know if it's gonna be like the PS5. I hope not. I don't wanna get my hand on one. It's Nintendo Switch Lite, and it's coming in blue. Oh, that color looks so nice. I wanna get that. I have the yellow one. I have the gray one. And I have the green one. And I have the pink one. But I gotta get another green one because my youngest son three years old playing with the green one. The green one's kinda like messed up. So he's playing with that one. So I have to buy another green one and I want that. Yeah, I want that blue one. That looks so nice. I, after I get done with this video, I gotta look up online and Google and check that out. I think it's coming out on the 21st. I wanna aim for that. But you can't pre-order that. That sucks. Big time. Yeah, um, every day, hopefully, if everything goes right, my main goal is to post three videos. I don't care if it's from the breakfast to the lunch to the dinner, to the lunch to the breakfast to the dinner, to the snack to the who to the who. I'm going to post three videos every day out of seven days a week. So I'm letting you guys know to look forward to that. And don't be afraid to hit that bell and comment. Say something. Don't be scared. Come on now. I know you guys ancient to say something like, hey, you know, you guys watching me. Obviously, you guys looking at me. Comment, say something. Tell me something, what I'm doing wrong or right. Come on, hit that bell. Don't be afraid. I won't bite. Come on. I know you guys want to say something. I'm waiting for a comment. I'm looking at everybody's YouTube video. They getting comments. I'm like, why can I get a comment? At least one Somebody say hi. Somebody say how you doing. Somebody say they like your video. Let me know something. But hit me up. But anyway, yeah. So I got 27 subscribers so far, and I'm really proud of that because I made my um, YouTube video like not too long ago, and now I'm back in action, posting videos for you guys. So um, yeah, I'm trying to get up to 30. I need three more. Before this month's over, I want to hit up to 30. And then and then next month, hopefully, if everything go right, it'll be another 30 or another 20 or something. And I just really appreciate it, who all the people that are subscribing to me. But you can always comment and say something. Let me know. It's you. You know, say hi or what's my favorite color, what food I like, what, you know, uh, what kind of animals I like. Or what my favorite restaurant. And pretty soon I'm about to do a Q and A. I want I would like to do that, but nobody has a comment, so I'm not doing that right now. But if I get somebody to comment, that would be really nice. We can do a Q and A. 
I saw uh, this one guy. His name is Ruben Eats, and he's on a, he's a YouTuber, and he was doing a Q and A, and he picked my son to be number one, and that is like that is kind of like amazing when you play his video, because his um, thing is called D and, D and J Nation, and because he has a YouTuber too, so you guys can check him out too. The D and J Nation, and um, he was the first one on there. I was surprised. Cause I was like, dang, he picked you first. He was like, mom, 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 no, 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 no. He about to do the question, about to do the question. So I look, and I'm like, out of all people, he picked you first. Wow, that's really cool, though. You know, that was like a little bit amazing, though. But anyway, I'm about to um end off this video. Finish my food. Let my phone charge. Get a little more juice. I just came on here to make another video because this is my third video for um, from today. And then yesterday I did I think two or three, I think something like that. So I'm about to end off the video, finish my little uh, dinner, whatever you want to call it, and just relax. Cause like my back be hurting lately, but it's feeling a lot better because I got like a heating pad and stuff like that. So, but yeah, I'm about to end off this video. Drink my little tea, eat the rest of my food, chill, watch more YouTube, maybe be a little bit on TikTok, and maybe check out a little Instagram, and then I'm cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna chill and relax. So I'll be back on um tomorrow. So you guys will find me, see me, hit me up tomorrow. Probably around the same time period that you see all my videos. Alright, so see you guys tomorrow. Comment, like. Subscribe. Peace. Mm.